Hi guys, welcome back or welcome to my channel if you're new here. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys my curly hair routine. So as many of you know, I have been on a journey when it comes to my curly hair. Last year, I discovered what blowouts were and it was a game changer for me. No hate to my natural hair, but I just loved the way that a blowout looked, and I still do, honestly, but man, did it do some damage to my natural hair and my curls, waves, whatever. I have been working on trying to get my curls back from heat damage, major heat damage, may I add, for probably about six months, and this is where my hair is at now. This is the final product. I have been doing this specific routine for the last, I would say, three months, so, without further ado, let's get right into the routine. I also wanted to add that all the products that I'm going to be using throughout this video will be linked down in the description box. Let's get into it! So this is what my hair looks like before I start my routine. This is just my bed head. I have not touched it since about two days ago. At this point, I don't even know what my curl pattern is. Some people say I have wavy hair. I think that it's curly, and if I absolutely had to choose a pattern, I would probably go with like a good 2A, 2B, or 2C in different sections of my head. And I'm definitely still working on fixing my curls from all of the heat damage that it's been through over the last year or so. I'm starting off by washing my hair and I'm using this Curl Manifesto Shampoo by Kerastase. This is a sulfate-free shampoo that gently cleanses the scalp while also keeping my hair nice and hydrated. I like this shampoo, but I will say Kerastase has some funky smelling products. I'm not a huge fan of the way this and all of our other products that I'll be using in this video smells. I don't know, I feel like it's a very musky and strong scent but I really do like the way that it leaves my hair feeling afterwards. I like to wash my hair two or three times a week depending on how I wore my hair. Sometimes I'll do a slicked back hairstyle and will still wash my hair that night in the shower because I hate the feeling of having a ton of heavy products in my hair. I don't know if that's just me. Also, I don't know if I wash my hair too much or what. That's just what I do. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments though. Next, I'm using this detox shampoo by the way. You guys already know I love the way so much. I know you've heard of double cleansing your skin, but have you ever thought about double cleansing your scalp? I never realized that this is something that I should be doing until my curl specialist told me that. My mind has been blown ever since, and I actually have no idea what I was thinking before I realized this. This shampoo deeply cleanses away dirt, oil, and product buildup with apple cider vinegar. And if you guys can't get a hold of this shampoo, you can literally just use apple cider vinegar to get a deep clean on your scalp. I also like to take this scalp massager from day and continue to shampoo using that. After I rinse that out, I'm gonna go in with a hair mask. This mask is the Curl Manifesto Nourishing Curl Mask by Kerastase. It deeply moisturizes and conditions damaged dry curls and protects against breakage, leaving my curls looking and feeling shiny and soft. Again, smells a little funny, but that is my only complaint. And I like to keep this mask in for about 10 to 15 minutes while I finish showering. And right before I rinse this mask out, I like to take my Tangle Teaser brush and detangle my hair. It's very important to brush starting from the bottom and work your way up to the top of your head to prevent any breakage from happening. Okay, I'm giving my hair one final rinse and then I'm ready to get out of the shower. Also, I purposely do not wring the water out of my hair. I want it to be sopping wet so that I can move on to the next steps. 
And once I'm out of the shower, I'm going to immediately take my favorite curl cream from the way and start scrunching and raking this through my hair. And I do this while I'm flipped over upside down. Please don't come for me if this isn't how you do it. Y'all asked for this curly hair routine, so I'm just showing y'all how I do it. While my hair is still soaking wet, I go in with this Uncle Funky's Curly Magic Gel. Every curly girl knows and loves this product, and if you haven't tried this one, you are truly missing out. Now I'm going to take my microfiber towel and continue to scrunch my curls until it's no longer soaking wet. I used to wrap my hair in this towel very tightly after scrunching it, and it always destroyed all the hard work that I had just put in. So now I just scrunch it and then very lightly wrap my hair with this towel. Next, I'm gonna start diffusing my curls. I'm kind of weird because I don't like the way that my curls look when I fully air dry them, but I don't like the way my curls look when I fully diffuse them either. So I do a little bit of both. I like to flip my head over to the left, the right, and the front about three to five-ish times each. Once I'm done diffusing, I like to go in with this I Create Finish Hairspray by Innersense. I don't like putting too much of this hairspray in because it will cause my curls to feel really crunchy once it dries. And last but not least, I'm adding some hair oil to my ends and applying that by scrunching it up into my curls like so. So I've been letting my hair air dry for a minute and I just fluffed it up a little bit and this is the final result. This is what it looks like. Of course, it might get a little poofier throughout the day as it continues to dry because it is a little, just a little damp still, especially like underneath. I've really been working so hard to get my curls back to their regular state and I feel like they still aren't fully back, but I can definitely tell that my curls are coming back from the top. Honestly, the bottom used to be pin straight. Like I could not get any sort of curl up no matter what I did. And you can see some pieces still aren't like fully where I want it to be. But overall, I'm in love with my natural hair. It just feels so nice. It feels healthy, it feels refreshed but yeah this is my current curly hair routine i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure to like this video subscribe to my channel and turn on your post notifications also please let me know if you have any questions or recommendations on all things curly wavy whatever hair in the comments and yeah i will see you guys in the next one bye